Hey everybody, this is Joy with Joy of the World here to take an intuitive peek into the Scorpio season. And as always, these are timeless, irregardless of any dates or specifics mentioned. There's always an eternal flow in these words that come out here. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump on in it. Also, if you're new to this channel, click that subscribe down below and hop on this joy train. Not this joy train, but your joy being made full here on earth as it is in heaven. So come along, save it to a playlist, share it with a friend, share it with yourself, and then go click on that because you too woo, gets all excited when we tickle those buttons. And you'll help this message get out to somebody who might not otherwise see it. Anyways, mouthful. I got some notes jotted down. If you can't tell, I've been through some things for a minute, so I'm not always trusting what's there. But these cards were already coming out because I was trying to get into the heart of the Scorpio re uh, reading. And they said there's a lot of condition going on. There's a lot of environmental energy we want you to be aware of. And the biggest one, the one that is in your control, because there's two cards coming out here first. See that? It's talking about accepting what you don't have control over. That's all fine and good. Because what it's really saying is mind your own damn business. <laughs> oh, who knows what they're going to say these days. Okay, so for real, because they're telling you to get into your own self, into your business. Because if you go back and you see the quickie that talked about the impossible being possible, they're talking about being one with yourself, focusing on yourself. Because when you do, that's where the power is, the power of choice. It's the only thing we can control. And this other card that's piggybacking along in with it. Okay, somebody's wanting to see proof and it's good because that's also what that quickie's about. And what we're talking about here is how to get the strategy, how to understand the strategy that's been working against us for a time and shifting that environment so that we relieve the pressure and love enters in. Anyways, I will always find ways to get back on track and reach my destination. That's the getting in your own business here, right? You are cosmic. You are divine. That's the whale. The whale can hold its breath the longest and good. It's like the submarine of nature, okay? And being able to go on down to the depths. And it's a mammal just like us, breathing with lungs in and out. And so you're going to take a deep dive here. And it just some deep info. Uh, my husband likes to say sometimes it sounds like I'm speaking Chinese, but hopefully this will come through to you and make sense. So at the heart and the center of it all, they made me split this deck. They're like, oh, no, no, no. It's not, it's not the Oracle, but it is this tarot deck of hers coming on in. And this one I like to see as tarot and Oracle at the same time. So what they're talking about is the difference between the heart and the mind, the condition that is going on, putting yourself at a disadvantage, but also putting everyone else at a disadvantage, including life itself. So you're, you're getting tainted results is what it's talking about. And that is only fueled and fed cynicism. The cynicism might not be like to the heart of the core on this person or that, but it's up in the mind like, mm, is it really? Will it really? Let's just wait and see, which is why you should go back and check the quickie because the quickie's talking about waiting and seeing without the condition. The condition here is that environment, the environment around your mind. It's talking about cynicism. Now, let me look it up. I had looked it up on my phone. Let me open it up and go to what it was talking about because they wanted me to find the root word. So the root word of cynic is dog. Okay, now if you've been around here for a minute, then you know that we talk about when wolves show up, it has to do with the wound. Not other people's channel, it is whatever, maybe in your uh, totem or that type of thing. But when a wolf shows up here in these readings, it's talking about the wound or the woundedness. The things that can play tricks, what? On your mind. You see here, the opposites, polarity, that type of thing. They're wanting us to get into the true resonance, magnetism of who we are. But in cynicism, it's defined as such an inclination to believe that people are motivated purely by self-interest skepticism. Okay. So when we have that condition of the wolf minded, it's sitting here waiting and drooling. Ain't no little sheep coming along. Simple little gifts or whatever offers because it's just going to get it up by the wolf. If you're wondering, that's the little port from the chemo stuff. Anyways, it must be one to come out and say, hello. Hello, <laughs> whatever. Um, so anyways, they were talking about the trap here is wanting to test your fate, wanting to tempt it and to play it in order to trigger the destruction again, the, the evidence of the way things always seem to work for you. Okay, now I'm not talking out of flat lips. 
This is something that I've been crying out about. So you know what? I'm like, oh, they're answering us. Hallelujah. If you know anything about me, I tune in and watch these videos as well, because while these things are moving, these can't work as well. So I'm getting the messages just like you guys. Okay. So they did give us some keys here. They said, surrender to life at life, not death. Life begets life. All right. That's the, that's the environmental state they're wanting you to be in is trusting life. And then they're talking about trust the transition, meaning that there'll be a changing of hands. And like when people run a relay race, it's, it was, it's within a specific, rebound, a specified space and time. Okay. So as that transition occurs, it's when we stay level headed, when we stay trusting in our heart that it's smooth and easy and that it qualifies. Okay. Not condition qualification. That means that there's a state of awareness going on with this, that you sit blind, not something you ignorant about is something that we say, okay, I sit like that. I know I shouldn't, but, or things always, or they never, always and never. Mm -mm. Those are conditions. Okay. It's reserved for God, G O D reserved for you, for me. And the thing is, is we need to let it be. Not put those things of always and never because that means we're crying out, not wanting anything to change, okay? You are the element of change that they're talking about here. They're talking about you are the one that you hold the power and the control, the control of self. So they're here to help you get back on track. Nobody's pointing fingers. They're talking about when life spins out of control. You can get flicked off your track. You can get derailed, distracted, destroyed. I mean, if you were here before, you remember what I used to look like, but I ain't dead. All right, so coming back from that, and they're talking about the one heart, the one mind, the one soul. So if you'd like, you can tune into the new day, new life. I think that's what it was called the other day. But um, anyways, and it goes on about that. But see here, they're letting me know that your heart is your own instrument, but your mind is not your own right now. I Meaning it's caught between states. It's caught between worlds. It's fighting to know which, which do we fight for? What do we truly believe? And it's waiting to see, but it has an air of cynicism. It has this polarity, this charge, this static going on the top. As you can see, it's really highlighting the moon here. And we'll go, oh, you judging the phases of the moon? No, I'm not. The moon is the mind, okay? And we want to be whole-minded, not limited in our scope or our understanding. That's what time is for with our wheel and our chart, is building layers of wisdom, nuances, just like building a recipe and layering the salt in as you go. It, it adds in the flavor. It seals it in. It gives you something to keep building from, okay? So um, they say be favorable. That's the other thing that they were talking about that's coming in, offering itself in this message. And in that they're saying be favor-minded of the environment. So don't throw shadows of doubt or that type of thing on it. If I used to tell my kids growing up, I said, if you can't believe, don't doubt so in that case, just stay neutral. Okay, that is favor-minded. Staying neutral, waiting and seeing. And when it tries to squeeze or press or charge you or like cattle prod you or whatever, you just say, mm -mm. wait and see, wait and see, wait and see. Sometimes, oh, that could be our mantra today. Sometimes the easiest thing is to just say that affirmation statement of what you're sticking to, what you're sticking with, what you're hoping and what you're believing for and what you're moving towards, okay? For some reason, they haven't me pick this up at the bottom of the deck. Ooh, four of pentacles. Got, okay, so this is a cycle and a season really moving us into the next like six, eight, ten weeks. So it's pushing into Capricorn season. And now it's going to bring the balance of the four seasons, wrapping it up, putting it all in order. Okay, so they're talking about the winter solstice. Okay. Kicking it off right then and the sun starts to shine, that pause button, that thing you've been waiting for in your heart that they're talking about here, Nine of Cups. That's where we're going to start is on the Nine of Cups side. So that thing you've been waiting for in your heart, the fire, the passion, the not just with another person, y'all. Passion should be yours, the whole thing, okay? But it's coming into community, communion, and it's fostering, ooh, 
Okay, if you watch the quickie, is bringing in some of that nine of cups energy, that abundance of the earth, of trusting your heart, allowing life to love on you from the depths rising up. This this blossom has been kept pure and waiting all along. Okay, it might have been through the dirt, you might be through the muck, but the one thing you can trust: trust yourself, trust your heart. Okay. Not just in what you can do. You can't make it happen. Remember, there are things out of your control, but you can keep your heart in that balance. You can at least stay neutral, right? They're talking about discharging the excess energy that's been going on, static building up in the mind. I mean, we've been moving for 400 years of Earth, now shifting to the air, which at this channel, it is plasma, promises fulfilled, and that's why they're giving us these strategies going on here. So the first thing they want us to look at is this about the Knight of Cups, about the heart being your instrument. And see, that's why they're going together, y'all. Look, the hole in the heart and the hole in the head. They said the one in the head is the one that's been causing the trouble, okay? The stars, the cosmos are guarding you here. So it's going into, it's talking about this trusting yourself. That's what it's showing here. When you trust yourself and you trust in your energy and you trust that life loves you, that life is supporting you, that you'll be good at what you're good at. You wouldn't be up this high if your balance weren't great enough to get you there, okay? And look at the instruments that she's playing with. Playing with the balance of what's above the mind, the polarities, getting into that state of trusting, of something that... Kind of like gravity, you know, the Newton apple. It was proven like that. But just knowing that there is a force there that is applied that once we gain understanding and wisdom in it, now bone collectors lighting up. She likes swing power. Oh, baby. That that begins to wake up. They're talking about this energy that's back behind it. So when we trust ourselves, we step into the dunamis. Oh, pardon me, y'all the doubling power of who we are. So these are coming in as a pair. The Knight of Swords and the King of Wands. Here this Knight of Swords is showing about making magic, trusting the connection, the communication that you have through prayer, through meditation, through insight, through instincts, through the clear audience, clear uh, sentience, um, clairvoyance, those type of things. They're saying, trust the messages that you're getting, that you are being heard and received and that you are being answered accordingly. Know that when you're asking, you're not asking rhetorically. You're not asking to a ceiling, like I told my kids. You're talking to yourself, okay? You're talking to your heart. You're talking to that greater perspective, that bigger view, the one who sees all, knows all, is all. That's coming in with the King of Wands right here. Talk about stirring up some magic. Look at that. Look at that. This is like the answering. This is the earth rising up. It's interesting that it's showing it like earth energy rising up above the heavens to come down and answer. Well, friend, and the answers are right beneath your feet. Right beneath our feet. Feet is represented by Pisces. So what are they saying here? So they're bringing in this earthen energy. Remember the formulation, the balancing, the seasons coming on in, wrapping up a full year. And forget full year COVID, forget full year of the number 2021. They're saying step in time, step in time. So there's a gate going on here, y'all. And it's like a, um, a combination lock, like a... Um, they're talking about a special kind of four-pointed star that locks into place and opens it. If any of you know what that is, it's like it could be a movie reference or um, like cosplay or something. Put it in the comments down below, okay? I appreciate y'all helping. This is our channel, remember? So alongside, ah. Uh... Mm -hmm. So they're talking about satisfaction guaranteed. Harold Melvin in the blue notes, if you wonder, and that's my youngest son's favorite song, Satisfaction Guaranteed. Look at this. Look at this. It's guaranteed. But they're having us swip around just like this card and get to the other side because the one with the hole in the head is the two of swords. So it's talking about the earth rising up to answer the call. Who coming out the grave? Who coming from beneath the casket buried under 
the grave. I can remember everybody wondering, like, they were like, well, you almost died from, you know, the treatment for that cancer and everything. And I'm like, I know. And they said, well, how are you feeling today? I said, maybe about a two. And I said, to you, that might not sound that good. But when I start at negative 16, a two is really awesome. <laughs> so it's like you're 10 feet beneath the grave and it's coming on up. You're bursting out like a seed. The evidence is beneath your feet. You are walking on it, friend. Trust in your beauty. Trust. When you, when in doubt, stay neutral. Stay neutral. It will discharge that doubt. Okay. And then life can show itself to you and it's real representation. So here's what they're saying. It's up to you to rest and to heal, to trust in this, to allow the phases to pass because these feathers are showing up like that integrity, which is talking about the moon's wholeness, being whole minded, not unconscious, subconscious, and frontal lobe, your consciousness. No, because that takes time and season and proofs and all that. And Big Papa showed up at this channel to overwrite all that nonsense. I mean, like stepping through Aquarius now, we got the key. And that's what they're talking about here. The perfect key. And this is knowing that the moon is whole. I'm someone, I do sun gazing and you do it at sunrise. And when you do, you realize the relative size of the sun matches the size of the moon based on where they are placed around our planet. Okay. Where they connect, they visually look the same size. They're whole. They're balanced. Our sun is our face, our radiance, okay? It is our perspective, our belief, our hopes, our heart, that whole thing coming out. And then our moon is our mind. It is that, that fullness that it doesn't have to play out through the tricks of time, these concepts that it comes in true and we can begin to trust ourselves. So that's what this Two of Swords is about, is trust yourself. The mind is like a screen. It's picking up your images from the inside and it's picking up other things from the outside. So it could be intimidating. It can alter, it can project and cast other people's desires onto your head and then you're wasting your, your time pursuing dreams that aren't satisfying or fulfilling, okay? Ours come from the inside, from the earth rising up within us and out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Okay, so this is the card. This is the make card to trust. You can see why evidence has told you not to trust. Having been heard, saying every rose has its thorn, you know, instead of realizing, oh, roses have thorns and you grab accordingly, it has its thorn. Here's my wound. Here's my pain. Here's my blood. Here's my sacrifice. Life doesn't need pain, suffering, and sacrifice from you. Therefore, you don't need pain, suffering, and sacrifice. It's about this rejoicing and dancing in the power and the trust of who we are. Allowing our life, our, our skills, our excellency to take us to the places that we're meant to go. To pursue our true inherent desires and dreams. To allow it to rise up and bless us. Bless yourself. Remember the favor-minded. The favorable is believing that life loves you and has your back. Okay. So what this three of swords is sitting on, it's going to give us some, they're talking about action cards. Very interesting because it, it's cups. So it has to do with your perception, the way you feel. So the five of cups and the six of cups. Okay. So we're stepping in time, causing the wheel to begin to move again, moving beyond the four of cups. All right, stepping into the actualization so that you will see because this six of cups is very much a receptive one. It's about being included in, they're talking about the life of the party. Not that life is making this and that. When it begins to be your satisfaction and fulfillment, you get excited and you start to get on board. They're saying, let us help you with this. Just wait and see, when in doubt, stay neutral. Allow it to come on through and it's going to be like hope. Begin to buoy you up and to lift you up and to draw you forward, to draw you across the waters of sorrow to the life and the promises on the other side. Okay? So with that, they're talking about the way to get the magic now step in, the perfect key and the change of seasons. I'm loving this. This is, Caitlin is her name. I know her first name is the one who did the tarot cards in these oracles. So let's see what the winds of change are bringing in. Because even though it's change of season, we often think of autumn as the leaves tussling down and around. Do you see those keys blowing? Okay. So it's taking you into your future, moving you forward. That as you allow it to wait and see, because see, this is you, man or woman. This is you dreaming it, resting it, trusting it, trusting your heart, trusting yourself, 
being honest with yourself and very clear, okay, and then allowing it to come about, the promises to be fulfilled. That's why we do plasma at this channel. The era of the air is just the mouth run and making promises, but plasma is when it moves across the vocal cords, when it becomes from your heart and becomes one with you, that then it's promises fulfilled. Okay, so they're talking about cosmic leading the way. Because the Lion Striders is leaning away. That's interesting. Okay, well, you're welcome to talk. Let us know. Okay, thank you. What is spinning out? And so this trusting over here, this balance. Of, mm. Okay, so we need to dislodge a few things. So this trust will come in. It might feel different or challenging, but letting it come on through will dislodge this seven of pentacles energy here that nothing to inherit, nothing to inhabit. Look, it's like instead of the gossamer string full, it's, they're talking about gray gossamer. They're like weighing it down that is dewy and it's heavy. It's like if you live in an extremely humid climate, Oh my gosh, and then you add the sun to it, it's very oppressive. So we're talking about clearing the sorrow away, just like where was where were they walking across it? Crossing the rivers of sorrow to get to the other side. Why? So that this dissipates and moves away. Look how clean and clear it is. There's stargazing at night. And if you ever like to do stargazing or meteor showers or things like that. People who are experts at that can tell you what the clarity is in that evening. And there are certain nights that you feel like you could see all the stars from the same place that you might look and it seems kind of veiled. Well, there is such a thing and it's all these particles going in around here that it reduces your visibility and look how the head hangs, soggy and sodden. And this is all you see. You don't see it as potential and as opportunity. You see it as like drudgery, desolation. What's the point? Why waste my energy? I know how it always turns out is that type of thing. And it's like, I'm just going to end up having to recover again. Mm -mm. Life is rising up. Remember this hope? See these blossoms? There's something that seems once lost because this is a branch that's severed and cut off. But life is reminding you, bringing those dreams back to life. Okay, taking those seeds across to the other side with you. That just because you choose to cross... And to move away from certain things that cause you grief and sorrow doesn't mean that the good things won't come with you. They're coming. They're coming. Okay, so let me see what it's trying to lead off with the high priestess. Okay, so this is showing along the lines of this. So some of you, the word is to stop wearying yourself. This channel, I mean, y'all, it's great to get the channel excited that more people get the message. But it's not that you're always to be here hanging on to every word. When your mind begins to feel heavy, it is full. Go cast your eyes on something in nature, whatever turns you on in nature, whatever gets you flowing. All right. For me, the ocean definitely does it. Um, sunshine through the trees, that dappled light. There's a special tree I go to see. Different things like that. They're talking about taking on some elements of the earth to relieve the weightiness of your mind. All right. To clear that heaviness off so that that shadow of doubt doesn't keep pursuing you. Because some it's talking about the temptation of perfection. Well, this is the perfect key. You are that key. It's not how the key behaves. Okay, they're talking about life rising up here to move and to turn you, to position you. Your chart, she's very much talking about that. She's spinning the clock like your chart, like a wheel. And talking about the dry bones rising up, you can, they're not turning back the hands of time, but it's time for these seas to begin to rise up. They're talking about on holy ground in your heart. Okay. So it's not watch more videos. It's not pray harder. It's not journal more. What they're saying is the dial doesn't have to be increased. Okay. Not you are enough. I'm going to tell you the truth. You're plenty. You are plenty. Your chart is plenty. Your experience is plenty. Your success is plenty. Your strengths are plenty. There's so many things that you're good at. That's what I want you to focus on and tune into. Leave the problem solve. I don't know, to the dirt. Leave it out there. Don't be focused on your problems. I could talk about, oh, focus on your gratitude. No, focus on what you're good at. 
Okay, do what you're good at because it juices you up. It gets you at like that atomic level. It gets things flying in in a whole different source of energy, traveling at the speed of light, okay? Begins to heal the neurology and the nervous system and balance it out because it's reward space. It's coming in, it's like, ah, oh, yeah, I remember me. I remember that. I enjoy this. Boy, I sleep better. That type of thing. That's what they're encouraging you to facilitate in in this season of change, this season of transition. Regardless of where you live, whether we're moving into the fall or the spring, we're shifting, we're transitioning, and they were telling us to trust in the transition, okay? It's like your car, you shift in your gears, you know the next one's going to be there. Whether you're dropping up or down, it's all working with the pace and the rhythm of who you are and with life's hand here to help you. I just want you to know, friends, I vote for you. That's why we show up at this channel. That's why it's called Joy to the World. It's not just this joy. It's all of our joy being made full. Remember to tickle those buttons down there. Send in your love and support. That way it's free as always. Free to subscribe, free to like, free to share, free to save it to a playlist. And when you go and watch it from your own playlist, YouTube is like, hmm, something important is going on up in here. And if you believe in this channel's message, circulate it about even if it's to yourself and then you go click from there man they like it if you leave comments they like that too and even more i like it i like connecting with you and as we get more subscribers here there will come a time that youtube will allow us to start doing lives and community posts and then you can have more joy showing up in your life i love you i believe in you all right we got this bye